only 1% of you guys are subscribed to the channel. Please hit the subscribe button for daily stories. My 68-year-old mother is losing her mind, has been for a while now. We knew she had been conversing with several people online for over a year, most of which claimed to be famous men and all of which needed money for various things. We had been telling her since December that she was being scammed, tried involving DHR and the agency who helps protect seniors, all falling on deaf ears. Courts won't do anything without a medical diagnosis. Urologist appointments take months so we're just stuck trying to keep her from self-destructing until then. End of February, she finally admits she needs help. Actually, she called my brother and said she was broke and he needed to fix it, but we'll say that was asking for help. Per the bank, her home was a few hours from going into foreclosure on the day we got the call from her, and her utilities were turned off the very next week. She has over $100,000 in credit card debt, most of it from sending these men pictures of every single credit card she has. She also gave them all of her bank account information and sent at least $30,000 in cash via Bitcoin ATMs or prepaid gift cards. I'm not sure I'll ever know exactly what she has spent on them, but I do know she owes $7,000 in taxes this year from all the withdrawals she made to her retirement, which she freely admits she sent to these men. She also still swears every one of them are actually all the celebrities they claim to be, and still truly believes one of them is the love of her life. My brother and I told her the only way we'd help is if she gave us power of attorney, which she did. We then caught up her house payments and reconnected the utilities. I have been going through her bills as I pay all of them and trying to help her budget, including finding her cheaper internet, TV and cell phone plans so she'll be able to pay her own bills going forward on her fixed income. She has been beyond nasty to me every step of the way, telling me what a disappointment I am and she wishes I was never born. There have been suicide threats, to which she laughed in my face and told the police she would never do anything that dramatic. She calls me almost daily and tells me she fell, only for myself, or the ambulance to rush over and have her admit she wasn't actually hurt but was hoping a trip to the ER would get her pain meds. I took her phone, created a new Apple ID and had it set so she couldn't text or call anyone not saved in her contacts, and she can't add people or numbers or apps without my approval. Only thing short of changing her number I could do to stop her contact with these scammers, she adamantly refused to change the number because she's had that one for 30 plus years. But she has still been getting hundreds of texts from six digit numbers, I'm guessing because she responded to them in the past so they were able to get around the block. I have told her a thousand times not to even open them, delete them or send them to junk. She had hip replacement surgery this past week. While in the hospital, she received a text telling her she won a free oxygen machine, call this number to claim your prize. She texts me and tells me she needs to add this number to her phone because it's a home health medical equipment company and she wants to talk to them about life alert, so I add their number. She calls and they tell her she just needs to give them her bank account information to cover the shipping dot, and she gives it to them. Then she calls the crow about her winnings. I call the same number, and what do you know? I'm also an instant winner if I will just give them my bank account information. Hit zero to speak with a person, and now I've won a free year of Direct TV. Hit zero again, and now I've won a free year of pest control from Terminix if I just enter my bank account information. So a total scam that my mother has again fallen for while laying in her hospital bed recovering from surgery. Like the last two months didn't happen, like she has learned nothing from this whole experience. She does not even need an oxygen machine but decided that since her parents had breathing issues at the end of their lives and because it was free, this opportunity was too good to pass up in case she needs one later. She tells me to. Just call them back and cancel. Because I'm sure the kind phone scammers will totally forget your bank account if I just ask nicely. Beyond a shadow of a doubt, she has been showing signs of progressive dementia and is at moderate slash moderately severe cognitive decline on the staging models. So I get it, this is the new normal for her. She no longer possesses the mental capacity to understand real from fake and she will continue to fall for stuff like this as long as she's alive. And I can't do anything to stop it. I can just crawl along behind her and try to fix it while hoping she shows up to the Nero in May so I can get the courts to intervene. She will always be a danger to herself and her own well-being, with the added bonus of being awful to me every step of the way. So I have decided I am done trying to save her from herself. I'm opening another new bank account for her tomorrow and putting what little money she still has in it. I have turned off all the automatic payments that have been coming out of my account 
and will be turning off all of the parental controls I had established on her electronics. Then I'm telling her good luck, don't call me when you're on fire again. And then I'm blocking her on my phone. My brother and I believe she'll be in a mess again by the 4th of July. Her problem, not ours. I have had a heart issue for two years now, inappropriate sinus tachycardia that isn't responding to medications. Both of my cardiologists have told me that stress is exacerbating my condition. I've lost 25 pounds over the last three months which I'm also chalking up to stress. I literally cannot explain the peace I feel in my soul tonight knowing that I have done everything I could for this woman and now I just get to be done tomorrow. It's complicated and sad and frustrating because oh how I have tried to help her and I know how this will end. But it's also so very calming to know that I'm done. I'm free.